very nice to see that so many have decided to spend a weekend here in this interesting uh, topic about initiative taking. My name is Eric, I'm coming from Denmark, as, as I said to you, I have come here for around 22 years to and my profession for the last many years has <laughs> been as a facilitator and process development consultant in organizations. Work with all the questions, work with all those things which I have introduced to you. Vision building, strategic development. <laughs> And I have, before that, I was uh, a system engineer consultant in IBM and a manager in IBM and, uh, for about 19 years. And uh, in my later years, I have worked a lot with sustainability. Yes. Yeah. This is very normal, they are discussing here which word is the right one, a little range, so that's quite okay. Um, so this is what I've been working with, introducing the concept of the local product and more responsibility for local society and local communities. But that's not very Besides that, I am in sculptures. The top, as the rose sculptures. In granite, in marble, in bronze, and in granite, marble, bronze, mora. And my passion, that is Argentine tango dance. Oh, my maestro, you are Argentine, you speak tango. And I'm happily married. So that must be enough to go. Is there any question before we start the But in reality, there's one thing more I would like you to do before I start my lecture. I will give you a few minutes to write down your expectations to this weekend. What shots are like better? What am I expecting? to take with me back home after having spent this weekend here. Okay. Uh, in the future, I will introduce and use these singing bells when things are up for something. Then I don't need to say so much. So, so we, when we have time is out for some of the exercises. How many of you, just for giving an idea, if we are thinking about your life, how many of you are in professional organizations? It can be in schools, it can be in industry, it can be in business. How many of you have initiatives which are oriented towards business? Okay, some. Okay. How many of you have uh, initiatives for your profession in the area of, uh, in the realm of school and education? Okay. About the same number. How many of you would probably take an initiative from the realm of family? Okay. Maybe like later on, 
I will try to, to regroup so you are together with those who are most in family with your main interest. We do that after the lecture before we start the painting. Okay. So um, I will go in and talk a little bit about initiative and where they're coming from and where why are they uh, how are they starting? Normally we could very often see that initiatives are coming for two different reasons. One is based on problems in an organization. So there's a problem, something is not functioning. What shall we do? We need to take a new initiative, we need to make changes. Very traditional way of solving problem is that okay, Darius, there are three alternatives. Which one should we choose? So that's very traditional. Many of you who have worked in this area, they know this way of working. But instead, the way I recommend people to work, that's a little bit different. You are transforming a problem to a question. And that means, for instance, if you are not selling enough, if the problem is in a sales organization you are not selling enough, then, then one alternative could be we should hire more salesmen. We should reduce our prices. We should introduce some new product on the market. But here you're transforming it to a question. Why do you start maybe transforming to a Why are we not selling enough? So you start with a question, and then the difference is a question is living. It can be transformed and changed all the time. So, so it could be the question, why are we not selling? And then I need to talk with customers, or maybe not need to talk to salesmen or shops or whatever. And maybe finding out that it is related to uh, the function of the product or they are breaking down too early. And then the next question could come, how can we increase the quality and the, uh, the way it's functioning, the product, so it's more stable and it's functioning? So how can we do that? So in this way, you are transforming the question all the time. And then you can focus more and more on the real situation behind the problem. And this transformation can also lead to the next one, idea, ideas. And you see, that's very interesting, because when you start with the ideas, so problems or new ideas, that can be the base for, or are the base for most initiatives. But maybe for coming to an idea, you have to go through problems for understanding a problem. 
Bet galbūt tam, kad imtis naujos idejos, naujos iniciatyvos, kad mes mes turime visą problemą. But sometimes an idea is just coming because I'm seeing the way they are handling the ground there that doesn't function. What can I do with it? So many ideas are springing up from your mind. One of the examples I remember, I've used this before, but it doesn't make it bad. You know, there are persons in science who get Nobel Prizes because having invented the most fantastic things. And one of those Nobel Prize winners, he was once asked, but how are you, uh, how are you solving these problems? Is it not difficult to solve them? And his answer was, no, in reality, this is not the difficult thing. The difficult thing is to find the right question. As soon as I have a question which really are focusing on the situation that needs to be solved, then the solution is there. Kritik tai mes randame teisingą klausimą pos problemo sprendimų, visą situaciją iškart atsidaro ir paveidai veikia. Ulo Stein says in relation to two ideas. Karūdų paštainėlis sako apie idėjas. This, that the right ideas, they are becoming new forces and give new energies. Kad teisingos idėjas, jos tampa naujomis jėgomis, naujomis galimis, naujomis energijomis ir duodam naujų jėgų. He also says that if you don't make an idea a reality, it is a lost possibility. You can see every idea, both in your own life and in business life, if you don't make it a reality, and if it is a good idea, then it is a lost possibility. But of course, ideas are not just coming in full flower. That is nearly like a plant. You put some seed in the ground. You are watering it. It is needing sun. And then it can start to grow. And in organization, this is a very dangerous period. Because what do you risk? You risk some of your colleagues and say, but what is that for a stupid idea? It's nearly like when you it's nearly like when you are looking at the lawn out there, and there is some sprout coming up in the spring, and you are coming with your grass cutter and cut it down. And you will, in initiative, when you are in initiative mode, you will find out that there are many people around you who are very willing to say that you can't do that. You should know it won't function. Does any one of you know situations like that from your own situation? Oh, there's only one who ever have been in a situation like that. What a happy group we have here. Yeah, I really believe that none of you have had your ideas cut down before they are <laughs> One more. One more. Okay, well, I'm sure you Ah, now they are coming. On. I, I'm pretty sure that the, the reason why Victoria was so fast, she knew me for many years, so she knew I would repeat my question until I got the answer I wanted.
this is something like that. <laughs> Ja az úgy utal, hogy nota múlva meg egy értek, de én menni a dolgnál, akkor zsisztet, és akkor kérlek, hogy nem kell nyesni a kateské, most már úgy gondolsz, hogy nem az. Oké. So, the model which I will describe, I have started to draw a little bit on the blackboard. This is the method, it can be used when you are making initiatives yourself. Or when you are in a group with other persons. What I will give you is called CMAX. Can you write that down up here on the top? Very much on the top. CMAX per initiative. And why CMAX? I would say. Because, you know. Is anyone Sheila uh, in this group? Sheila, as you say, Uraeus. You are Sheila. Good. Then you know that when you are navigating towards the shore, we have difficult navigation. There are some sea marks placed out in different positions. There are the various culturae, but yet there are various positions, various shores, various places. And it is not very wise to miss some of those sea marks if you want to sail. Secure. <laughs> but that's the same uh, idea of thinking which are behind this model here, because it's the model I'm giving you. Because this is in fact uh, the harbor. Yes, <laughs> That is a realization of your idea. In a practical project, project with a function. So, and what this is, I have already placed the C marks which will guide you secure to the harbor. And now I will describe what the Content of each of the sea mark is. When you are sailing towards the harbor, and I think it's better that you are riding instead of me. Uh, the first one in initiative, this up here, in the place for quite a while. That is the motive. So the first question an initiative taker needs to put to themselves is why do I want to do this? Why So this is the first thing you have to think about. In reality you are going close to why is this initiative one? Why is it important in the world that we take this initiative? The next is, what is your mission? Can be close to that. What is this contributing with? Mission. Motive. For instance, I said I work with a climate issue in the local area. My motive is that how can I contribute to something which creates more sustainability in local societies? That is my motive. <laughs> So there's a personal motive between very many of these uh, initiatives. And my mission, my mission is to bring this message to the world. My mission is to tell it to as many persons as possible so they start to be aware of what is going on in this area. That's my mission. 
And then you can say the next one that is called division. Or sometimes it's also called a picture of the future. And what is uh, a vision? You can take it very short. This, is, this has to do with not the situation today, but the situation in a, in a number of years. I have said what I wanted to do, but if I say tomorrow, everything in the local society should be sustainable. <coughs> what would happen if I was, should we say, so naive to state that would be the situation? Would I be able to do it? So everybody was interested in local sustainability from tomorrow, have transformed everything so it's working in another way. That's a rhetorical question that is called by the uh, No, of course not. I would fail. So therefore, it, what I want to do is that I, over a longer period, maybe 20 years, would like to make this transformation so the society could be local sustainable. Does that sound more reasonable? So a vision is something I am striving after uh, uh, what I would say in a period uh, 10 years is too little, 20, 30 years period. So we are in very, very long periods, in very many cases. This is really my driving. Somebody sometimes says that, okay, you can put the vision so high that it is totally unrealistic. But how can you make a vision which really are motivating, engaging, and giving energy to the group of people who are working with those things here? That is what it is about. So a vision should give energy to that group of persons which are involved in making it a reality. So that is part of this. The next one, that is going down here. So if we, here we are in the world of ideas. Here we are in the question is, what is it that we want and why do we want it? No, but we can't take that later. <laughs> but the next one, that is in relation to, so we go to the other say, no, you can hide here. Right hide here. Hide here, yes, something like that. Okay, yes, fantastic. Uh, the world of ideas. Here on the other side, you have the means by which you are doing it. That is the physical areas of the physical areas. So you can write that below. So up here, you're up in the sky, you are a dreamer. <laughs> but then we have to bring it down to the earth. Have to stand on the earth. And that has to do in this case here, marrying this one here with resources. You can also say this has to do with what is needed to bring this uh, field up here, the notion of the visions, to a reality. What is needed? 
Ten jau pasakyti taip, kad apie šio fizinio pasaulyje esminis klausimas yra, ko reikia, kad įgyvendinti šitą viziją. What is needed for making this a reality? Ko reikia, kad įgyvendinti, kad tai taip turi ryti? And of course, there are many elements in that. There are physical resources, that is, machineries, maybe. That is also capital money. And that is, of course, human being. Which skills and competence working force is needed for doing this? So you can find here capital, materialistic human being is that space for that. And one thing which must not be forgotten in these things here, but bringing in ideas to sail it safe to harbor. That is a good navigation who is needed when we are talking in it in relation to the sea. If we are talking about it in an organization, it could be a school or in a professional business organization. That is leadership competence. Because if there is no leadership in it, you are not able to save this initiative, save it. And in leadership, you must also be realistic. What I mean by that is, maybe my vision is so ambitious that I can see that it's impossible to make it, so I have to adjust it. So, because there are not the physical resources, there are not the money, there are not the people, and it requires that you are going maybe to a lower uh, ambition, level of ambition. <coughs> Nei iš materialinių resursų, nei kapitalo, nei žmogiškų resursų, tai mums daryti reikia ambicingumą biškį sumažinti ir pritraukti prie realių galimybių. So in a process like this, you have to not only to look at these things once, but also to be able to adjust the things in accordance with the reality which you are meeting in the world. Taigi, kai mes eimame, žiūrėkame apie idėją ir eimame į tikslą, mums yra svarbu žiūrėti ne tik tai, kas yra mūsų ten motyvo į vizijoje, bet lygiai taip pat turime kitą koją atsistoti ant fizinio pasaulio, kokia yra resursai ir realios galimybės tai gyventi. Then we are going to this field here. We are then going up to the world of the ideas. Ar mes vėl krištame prie sekančio kultūro ir vėl kažkasi įtėjų pasaulyje. With values and policies. Ir šitas kultūras tai yra susijęs su vertinėm ir Politika, not politika, what is this, principles you could also write if you like that better. And basic beliefs or something like that, can you translate that one? Basic beliefs. Yeah, so it, this has to do with which attitudes I am working out from. Very important question. I can illustrate it to you. If my goal in life is to be very, very rich. Then I have a number of options, of course. I can work hard in an ordinary company and hope that I will be rewarded in a good way and in that way it will be rich. Does that sound very really, uh, likely to happen? Okay, 
kiekvienas tas, kad mane gerai vertins ir kad aš užsidirbsiu daug pilinių. Tai galbūt aišku, kad man nelabai realistiškai. Vainos. Ok. Vainos. You are welcome to try this method. No, I'm not sure I would like to try it, but I think it's possible. Yes, it is possible. But what I'm thinking about faster ways, what if I go into criminality, dealing with half rocks of things like that? Yes, I would like to try it. Of course, it would be. Yes, I would like to try it. 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 But but in reality, maybe it's a faster way, and especially if to go into dealing with rocks and hurrying. No, I would like to think to find that the cashier is drinking but the narcotic is in place. And and especially if I don't need to do the job, but I can have other persons like dialogues to do the selling. And especially if I don't need to do the job, but I can have other persons like dialogues to do the selling. Is that also a way I could use? Can you think I could do the story of the new pastry? What's the problem with that way for some of you? I will say one thing, one secret in my lessons. You haven't used it yet, but there's one word which I never accept in my lessons. That is normal enough. And I would also very much appreciate if people are brave enough to say what they are feeling and thinking, even if it is contradicting what I'm saying. Viena teisyklė, kokia aš naudoju savo paskaitos, nes man nepatinka viena žodis, kai žmogus atsako normaliai. Ir man patinka, kai žmonės yra drąsus ir ekspresyvus, ir reiškės. But that no matter that that was more used in former time, in the beginning I was coming up. Now you are not using it so much anymore. So that's an important thing. Čia tas žodis normaliai buvo vartojimas dėl daug daug anksčiau. Dabar jau žmonės į mažiau. But what I have illus tried to illustrate here with those examples. So this is the way I should illustrate it. I associate with them some attitudes, the values which are behind the decisions. So we should be tigers, philosophers, or we should be trained in anything we make. There are conscious or unconscious values behind it. We must be able to spot them before we spot them. We are searching for them, but we are searching for them. Tigers are so looking. So what is your attitude? Is your attitude? Well, I want to sell cheap scrap to people, so I can sell as much as possible, and that's their problem uh, if it breaks down. Because if I have to stay in business, I need to be able to sell new products out on the market all the time, so therefore the product cannot last a lifetime. Yes, because I want to Turiu pastoviai pardavinę produktus, o geras produktas tarnavo jau gaitai, o kada pardodį pigius ir gaitai jau užtepsius, jau pastoviai jau reikia. Do you know any companies or any branches, businesses who have this value? Ar žinot kokias kompanijas ar brandus, tos prekių ženklus, kurie... Our product they should only last two and a half years, it's a guarantee that our product is two years. Two? Or made in China. Could you be kind to say these things in this way, and then Darius will be so kind to translate this, because then everybody can hear what you're saying, right? I've said this to you before. This is the thing, you know, that we want to hear for the meeting here. I think I should tell you guys. Yeah, but that, that's not, ah, uh, that's interesting what you're saying here. All things which are made in China. Who are giving the specification for those things which are made in China? Is that the Chinese or is it even from the US or Europe? What? What did you say? You don't know. Yeah, but you see, in for instance, when we come to personal printers. They last normally two and a half years, not longer, and then there are programs so they stop because otherwise you don't want to buy them. So, so in many ways this really in an organization to be clear about the values which are behind what you want to do, that is a very important step. The organization is the 
What will we do with competitors? Will we uh, talk badly about all our competitors? Tell how bad their products are and how they are. Okay, 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 Uh, very, very many things in business life and in any other life is uh, can a politician be allowed to lie? <coughs> so many, many things has to do with moral and ethic decision, and that is what we are talking about in this area. It has to do with the moral. The company ethics which are behind it. Take it. Should to is the key. Should the food the information. Not the mess. Not the mess. At your morale and ethics. At your companions. Morale and ethics. So, uh, what is right for me? What do? What can I see that I can be a part of? And where I must say no, I will not be a part of this. Courage not to that man think a print in a courage to look at. But the delimit of courage to look at not man think a print in a man a book you lose. So it's a question about prioritization, about taking your ethic uh, consideration seriously. In our <coughs> 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 <coughs>